Okay, so we've learned how to SSH into the server and install Python and pip. And now let's figure out how to upload files to the server. Um, so when I left last lesson, I actually didn't show you how to log out. Um, there are two ways you could do it. One is using exit and just press enter. And the other, um, you can also press control D as well um, in, in this sort of situation to just exit the current shell. Um, so you sort of know we're still on the server because it says that we're you know, the user root at Django Tut. And so that's um, the host name of our server. And if we press uh, control D, it'll log us out. And with this, um, we're now Matt on desktop. So we know we're back on um, the, the local computer. So um, I'm gonna show you how to upload some files to the server using SCP, which is um, a utility that's very similar to SSH. And uh, we'll use our SSH key as well. But before I do that, um, I just wanna show you how to, I guess, um, use the tools that we're gonna to use to test our internet connection and file transfer as well. So to do that, um, we're gonna to need to go into our documents and um, just create a folder. And I'm going to call it a web page. And we're going to go in there. And um, to go to the same folder in Git Bash, we can do change directory to squiggly, which is home, doc, tab, documents. We can do ls to see where we are. Um, you see web page shows up. So we can go into web page. And there's nothing in there yet. And we're going to create a file which we're then going to transfer onto the server. So I'm going to go new text document. Um, I'll call it index. Um, and you might notice that you can't see the file extension when you're doing programming stuff on Windows. It's uh, pretty important to know the file extension. So um, in Windows Explorer, you can go view file name extensions. Hidden files is useful as well. So you should turn that on. Um, index.txt, I'm just going to rename that to index.html. Yes. Cool. And we're going to edit that. Open with notepad. Okay. And we're just going to write a simple HTML page um, with a header. Hello world. Cool. That's it. Let's save. HTML looks good. If we do ls back in web page, you can see index.html is there. Um, so now that we're all set up. I'm going to show you how to use Python to set up a sort of instant web server, which is pretty cool. So I'll just check. I've got Python 3 installed on here. Yep. Um, if you don't have Python installed at this point, you should go to the Python website and install Python 3. Um, and once you've done that, you can you should reopen Git Bash, go back to this place, your documents web page, and you're going to use Python M, which is um, run module http.server. Um, so this is going to run the server module in the HTTP library using Python. And what it's going to do is essentially serve a uh, HTTP web server from this folder. And so, uh, yeah, we have our access, thanks. Cool, that's started. And if we go to Chrome now, and we go to localhost and call it 8000 we get hello world um so you can see that's working now we actually should be getting some output here that's not showing up which is kind of annoying um but anyway one thing you'll notice is that i've used localhost that refers to the ip address or the i guess web address of this computer um, and port 8000 is just, um, I guess, a TCP or um, how to put it, 
like a just a way of referring to a particular program that's listening on that port. So there's port 80 for HTTP traffic, there's port 443 for uh, HTTPS, there is uh, SSH goes through on port 22, and so different programs are listening to different ports, and um, we've set up our program to serve this document over um, port 8000. We can change that. Oh, there you go, that's what we were expecting this whole time. For some reason it wasn't printing. If we go help, um, you can see that we can, these uh, like semantics here are to run server with a bind address and a port. So we could, for example, bind to zero, zero and port is 80. That's running again. And now port 8000 won't work anymore um, because the program is now serving requests on port 80. And uh, port 80 is the default port. So this is the port that all web browsers go and talk to by default. So you can see that it's actually stripped out port 80. Um, Localhost and 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0. Doesn't work on this. Blah. They're sort of the same thing for our purposes. Um, there are some weird things that can happen on um, the web server where you need to use 0 .0 .0 0 .0 0 0 0.0.0.0 to serve outside requests, which is why I'm using it. Um, but yeah, there you go. We're, um, we're in business. Now, we're going to do this on the web server as well to check that um, we're able to serve web requests from there. Okay, so let's cancel out of that. And um, another helpful thing you might have seen me do is when I clear the screen like this, and what I'm doing there is I'm just pressing Control L, like a capital L. So. Right, so, so far we've created our HTML document in our web page folder. We've used um, HTTP.server module, which just comes with Python to serve it as a web page. Um, which we can then access in our browser, which is cool. Um, we've learned that we can serve it on different ports, like 3000, and then we can go to that port and access the web page, which is helpful. Um, the next thing we're going to do is actually upload this web page to the server, and we're going to do that using SCP. Um, so if you remember with SSH, we logged into the server using the IP address. We did SSH root because we're going to log in as root user at uh, I, blah, it's not copying at and we just have to right click paste ip address um, we're going to use similar semantics to use scp um, it's slightly different we're going to do scp and then we're going to sorry is there supposed to be a space yeah scp um, and we're going to put in the file that we want to copy which is index.html and so that's the source destination. That's where we're copying from. And then we want to put in where we want to copy to. And so where we're going to copy to is the root folder on our web server. And the way we express that is we say um, root at. So this first bit says we want to copy as the root user. So when we log in with our SSH keys, we're going to authenticate ourselves as the root user. And then the web server itself, which we need to paste the IP address. And then um, the, I guess, way of expressing this is you do colon and then forward slash root, which is the folder, which is the um, like the root account home directory. And so this uh, will copy index.html to, to this server using this IP address as root into the root folder. That's what this means. So let's give that a try. Okay, it's done. Now, the way we can check this is by using SSH to log into the server and just having a look. All right, we're in. I'm going to control L, get rid of all this crap. Um, so our current directory, our print working directories, tells us we're in the root folder. We do ls to have a look around. You can see index.html is there. We can cat or print index.html to see what's in it, which is cool. And now where it gets cool is um let's shop is serve it as a let's serve it as a web server. So um 
in this window, I'm going to do Python 3, because remember, we don't have Python, we have Python 3 on this server. Run the module, http.server um, on port 80. Actually, let's start with port 8000, which is the default port, so we'll get rid of it. All right, and now we're getting the prompt that we were supposed to get, serving HTTP on IP address 0, 0, 0, which is localhost on port 8000, and you can access it like this. Now, if I try and um, curl will be available. Um, I guess what I want to show you at the moment is how to sort of debug these HTTP servers to see um, if they're working. And I typically do three things to debug them. Um, I usually log into the server. So I'm going to SSH in to root at IP address. I'm just going to paste. All right. So I've got this git bash window here. And I've created another git bash window here. I'm just going to log into the server on this one as well. Um, right. And so you can see I'm also in the root folder. And you can use curl to make a HTTP request. I'm going to curl uh, localhost port 8000. And you can see here we've received a get request um, and it has a status type code 200, which means it succeeded. And you can see my curl returned the HTML. So that worked. Um, if I try to curl localhost on port 80, uh, you can see it failed to connect, connection refused. Okay, so what if we try run our HTTP server from this directory on port 80? And then if we curl port 8000 now, you'll see it failed to connect on port 8000. But if we connect on port 80, we get our HTML printed out. And if we actually get rid of the 80, um, because it's the default HTTP port, we also get our result. And finally, um, using curl 40.0.0.0 works as well. So typically when I'm um, running Django from a web server and I'm having some problem where the request isn't coming through, I'll often log into the web server with SSH and use curl on um, localhost plus whatever port we're using and just check that it is in fact uh, working because sometimes the problem is between the server and my computer and inside the server it's working, which is why I wanted to show you that. Cool, so we've got our web server running. We're gonna keep that running. Close this. Okay. Um, and let's open up our web browser and let's copy our IP address and try connect. Let's close this tab to show you that it's for real. Okay, and we're going to paste it in, press enter, and you can see we've got a hello world. And you can see um, we've got a web request from my IP, which is this. And so now you are running a web server, um, which is pretty cool. So if you ever want to set up a very quick and dirty web server, you can use this Python HTTP server module kit to get that done. Okay. Um, so we've just learned how to copy a file using SCP, and I've also shown you how to set up a um, little HTTP server to serve that file. The next thing I want to show you is how to copy a whole bunch of files. All right, so I'm going to exit and go back to my web page. All right, um, so let's say. I have web page and I also have, uh, let's make another file. We'll just make a text document. We'll call it something.txt. And we'll just put a crap in there like, hi, I am Matt. And save. So we've got two files and we've got two files inside a folder. And let's say we don't want to copy one file one at a time. We want to copy everything in that folder. What we can do there is if we um, go into documents and you see I used cd dot dot to go up one from web page into documents. Um, we can use SCP again, but what we're going to do here instead is SCP and we're going to use the recursive flag dash R. Um, and this means copy this folder and everything inside of it. So SCP R, web page, so I just went w tab 
and then we're going to do root root at paste the IP address or not. And in typical Chrome fashion, it will copy more stuff than we want. Cool. So we're going to use SCP to recursively copy the web page uh, to this server using the root account, using this IP address, and we're going to copy it to the root folder, which is the home directory of the root account. Let's give that a try. Cool, and you see it's copied index.html and something.txt. So now if we SSH into root at my server, and we have a look, we've got this web page folder. We have a look inside a web page. We've got index HTML and something of text. So, so we CD into web page. We can cat index.html, it's the same thing. We can cat something.txt, it's the same file. So now we are just uploading files willy-nilly onto the server. Um, yeah, and it's uh, pretty quick and easy. Um, yeah, there you go. Now, one last thing I wanted to show you um, before we finish up with all the server stuff is just a quick and easy way to stop having to remember this IP address because it is kind of a pain in the ass to have to like copy it over over and over. So you've got this folder um, at it's set hosts. Oh, don't tell me. You know what? Let's just forget that for now. Cool. So uh, just ignore that last bit I said. Uh, that's it for now. We've learned how to copy files over onto the server, both one file at a time and recursively. And we've also learned how to um, just set up a, a quick and dirty HTTP server and how to test it out using curl and our web browser.